Christ is risen, alleluia. Dear friends, as the Bishop of Grand Island, I want to wish you a blessed Easter. May the joy of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ fill your minds and hearts with great happiness and hope and peace as we celebrate Easter. You know, the Easter season begins with this octave of Easter as we celebrate the next eight days as though Easter were one continuous day, rejoicing in this time over the joy of the empty tomb and the joy of the resurrection of Jesus. Throughout the Lenten season, I have been encouraging people to reflect on the Paschal mystery, on the suffering and the death and resurrection of Jesus, and to really allow that to affect them personally. Now, let me encourage you to make a heartfelt response to the resurrection, to the victory that Jesus has over sin and death for you personally. Over the course of the Easter season, the next 50 days, uh, we read in the Acts of the Apostles the, about the response that the Apostles made when they saw the resurrected Lord and how that changed their life. Now, in these days of Easter, it's really our turn to bear witness to the love and the saving love of Jesus for us. And just as we focused in Lent on our sins and our transgressions, so now during this Easter season, we really ought to have a dispossession that reflects the joy and the gift of our redemption in Christ. It was characteristic of the early church to gather, to hear God's word proclaimed, to offer prayers of petition for their needs and for the breaking of the bread. The life of the early church was therefore centered around the Eucharist. And in these days, I want to invite all of you to come back to follow the example of the apostles and to be united in your parishes as well, around the Lord and his word and around the table of the Lord. The pandemic, with all its uncertainty, has certainly separated us over this past year. But we ought to really reunite with faith and confidence in the Lord, that His grace will strengthen us and protect us, both spiritually and physically. With all the challenges, we really need the grace of the Eucharist to strengthen our confidence and to stay close to the Lord, to be united with one another against all that would divide us, and really to help us be witnesses of hope in our time. Easter is a joyful season. The source of our joy is the resurrection of Jesus. The world needs the witness of joy and hope right now to know the cause of our joy is Jesus Christ, who has been raised up. This Easter, I pray that you will experience the joy that St. Mary Magdalene and the other women knew when they came and witnessed the empty tomb of Jesus. May the gift of salvation that Christ Jesus won for us uh, give new perspective to all our lives that we might experience uh, Him with us always in the coming days. Together, let us bear witness to the joy and the hope of the resurrection uh, throughout this Easter season. Again, I wish you a happy Easter. May Jesus Christ be praised. Always let him be praised.